Yeah, I think one of the big um, technical stories from the uh, from the New Zealand boat is you know everybody sees the, uh, the the cycling and sort of thinks oh well that's a big thing they're getting more power they're getting more power from their legs you know, they've got more they've got more oil to move the controls and part of it's that but the other thing is that they've got the they've got the control of the boat divided in divided between three people so that the, Peter Burling is just he's just steering you can see him he's just driving Miss Daisy when he's going down the run and the, the, there's a guy trimming the trimming the wing sheet he's doing a relatively conventional job but then the third man forward in the boat has actually got his arms in what I really like biathlon bars and he's he's controlling he's controlling both the dagger boards all the time he's in charge just of keeping the boat ride height at the right level whereas in in the in the other boats in the fleet it's the helmsman with his buttons and paddles on the wheel who's actually having to fly the boat up and down and do the steering uh, and and so the reason the kiwis are strong in the have been strong part of the reason they're strong in the light is that they do have this very fine control of ride height and so they can sort of throw the boats into maneuvers and they can they can maintain themselves on the foils longer because they've just got this one guy that's all he's thinking about.